Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Bramble Fox. Um, I'm using the June Fox box um, and um, using the Go Anywhere title and the sign post that says Take the Scenic Route. Um, so I really love these colours um, and um, I thought the two together worked really well. Um, so I decided to go for um, one of the, the new Simple Stories um, Simple Vintage Coastal Collection. It was a collection that was um, released last year um, and then because it was so popular and sold out so quickly, um, it's actually been re-released this year. So I'm on the Simple Stories design team, so I'm very lucky to have received um, the most of the collection um, prior to actually getting to the shops. Um, there's been a shipment delay. Um, so um, I'm, I'm lucky that I have this um, on hand, but many people will have this um, left over from last year as well. Um, but if you missed out last year, you can get it this year as well now. Well, soon. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's a really, really beautiful collection and the colours just were so perfect uh, to go with um, these two perspectives from the June Fox box. Um, so, um, and I thought the go anywhere and the take the scenic route um, were ideal for beach photos. Um, so I haven't got many beach photos from recent times. Uh, so this is last year uh, when we were on holiday in Lanzarote um, and we found, came across a beautiful beach. Um, there aren't many beautiful beaches in Lanzarote because there is a volcanic island and therefore the sand is uh, black. Um, so it's not um, particularly pretty uh, to look at. However, this is a man-made beach um, and, uh, and it was gorgeous. Uh, lovely, lovely white sand. So, um, so yeah, um, uh, we've got some nice photos. So um, I have these two photos of my son um, posing. He's the right poser um, on the beach. Um, and uh, uh, they're basically the same photo. Um, and what I decided to do was layer them one behind the other um, even though the subject of the photo and the second one that's behind, you can't see. But it's okay because you get some of the sand and the sea. Um, and uh, even though they are different photos, they're essentially the same thing, same pose, slightly different. But but yeah, so I didn't mind not using it. And I quite like the look of having the two photos layered in that way. Um, so what I've done is I've gone for a sheet of paper from the base, the 12 by 12 basics pack. So with the simple vintage um, collections, you can also buy a coordinating pack of 12 by 12 papers um, that are very subtle patterns, light in tone, they have some texture look on them, um, but ultimately they are be just beautiful coordinating papers that are basically B-sides um, and they're really lovely and really easy to use. Um, so um, I'm finding them awesome to use as background. So I decided to go for the bluey tone one for my background that went really well with the Go Anywhere perspective. Um, and um, I've trimmed it down to I don't know, about 11 inches square and I've stuck it onto a sheet of white card so I have a white border around the edge of my paper. I've also created a large tear in the right hand side um, at the top um, and the idea was for um, my cardstock to be kind of poking through um, but actually I decided to fill that gap with... Um, another piece of paper. So from the Simple Vintage Coastal papers, there are some that are have uh, like designs on one side rather than a, a pattern all over the page. Um, and it's like this one of the features um, on one side of the page that I decided to use um, as a base for that big tear there. Um, so um, it looks really lovely. There's lots of detail going on behind that tear. And um, yeah, it's, it's really a lovely effect. I love this big tear and the fact that everything's kind of coming out of that. So, um, so yeah, um, there's also a two by two paper pack, uh, sorry, paper, paper um, that uh, I've cut up and used some of those tiles um, to bring in the green color um, and some flowers. Um, and uh, down the bottom, I've created another strip, although it's not a tear this time, but it's just a strip of uh, wood grain paper that I've stuck on top, but it has the same kind of effect. And that's where my title is going to go down there, go anywhere. I've added like a driftwood frame and the signpost is just going in there. That goes well with the take the scenic route um, signpost perspective. Um, and um, I'm adding some tropical flowers. Uh, I've added some natural twine. Um, and um, I'm now adding um, other bits and pieces that work well with um, photos from a tropical country. So um, palm trees and tropical flowers and um, yeah, those kind of things. Uh, 
the tropical flowers and the palm trees don't work well with photos from the UK. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, they certainly go well with holiday snaps. So, um, so yeah, I'm uh, really happy with how it's looking. I kind of want to bring the two clusters up to meet each other or down to meet each other. So I've added a tag and I've tied some natural twine through that. So that kind of extends down a little bit more to um, meet the lower cluster. Um, and uh, I'm going to add um, some more embellishments. So some birds, um, tickets. Um, I'm thinking about adding that flamingo, but actually he's a step too far. Uh, so I opted for some hearts and a starfish instead. Um, I've got some seagulls in there. I've got some rope um, wrapped around in a circle um, and uh, adding some of the uh, pretty decorative brads and hearts and uh, shells, all those kind of things. Um, it's just, it, it's coming together really nicely. This collection, this is the second layer I've made with this collection and I tell you, it just all goes together so beautifully and it's just so easy to create with. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this collection. I, it makes me want to go to the beach and get some more photos of beaches. Um, but uh, we, don't, we don't really go to beaches in the UK, so maybe we should change that. Um, so um, yeah, okay, so um, I'm just um, going to uh, add in a few more bits and pieces. So I just wanted to give those uh, driftwood hearts an outline. I've done that in white rather than a harsh black pen. Because of the soft feel to this collection, um, I thought the white would be a nicer outline. Um, and so I've just added that and then I'm going to add those um, to the layout as well. And then I just had a quick look through my Bramble Fox stash. It's always useful for me to have a quick route through and see if there's anything older that I can get onto this layout as well. And I had one little pink fish um, and he was ideal. So he's gone onto the layout. He's just going up there in that corner now. Um, so I always feel really pleased with myself when I use up something that I've had for a while. He's at least two years old, I would have thought. Um, and um, yeah, he's, uh, he's great. So he's in, he's a frosted pink fish. So he goes nicely with the collection as well. Um, and, uh, and then I, and I say, I can pat myself on the back for, um, for using up something older. <laughs> Um, so okay, some of the decorative brads going on now, um, beach life, a flamingo, um, pineapple, um, and then some plain ones as well. Another one that says happy place. Um, so uh, yeah, they're all coming, um, going on nicely. They just add a different texture and look to the layout, kind of like enamel dots, but with a bit more detail on them and bigger. Um, and um, Okay, so I'm just going to write in my journaling. I don't know if I've done the stitching yet, but um, I have added um, some stitching to this layout. Uh, I've added it around um, the outside edge of the layout itself. Um, I've also then added several lines of stitching um, across the two squares in the middle there. Um, and um, I did this by just going backwards and forwards on my sewing machine multiple times. Um, so um, I really like how it looks actually. I've done that there and I've done it under the Go Anywhere title as well. So it just gives um, kind of lots of lines of messy stitching, which um, was, was really lovely. I'm really happy that I've discovered how to do that. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then I've just finished off with some splatters of white paint and that's me done. Um, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this layout. I loved making it. I love this collection. I love those two perspectives that I used. Um, and uh, yeah, I love the layout. So thank you so much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox.